Hey everybody, what's going on? Hello. The sign is still hanging in there on a command hook. I have a little bit of a stuffy nose and a lot of gunk in my throat. Oh no. What does it mean? I don't know, but I'm not feeling that great today. Um, happy Sunday, I guess. I mean, for me, Sundays are always filled with dread. <laughs> because of work the next day. Wait, what are my teeth doing? Okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't have lipstick all over them. I'm here with the Timu haul. Before we get started, I want to tell you a couple of things. A few hauls ago... That's how we measure time. I talked about these movie marathon advent calendars, which I thought were really cool, which give you a different movie every day of the Christmas season to watch. And also there is a, well, my cat knocked it somewhere into oblivion, but there is a song. Is this it? No. Is this it? No. What a mess. Wow, my life. It's not hoarding if your stuff is cool. No, I just have piles and piles of stuff everywhere ever since I discovered Timu. Before that, my room was a peaceful, safe haven. And now it's just... <sighs> anyway, I talked about this on one of my previous hauls. They are on Amazon for about $7.98, both the movie marathon advent cal uh, card, deck of cards and the song marathon advent calendar. Ad it's not a calendar, it's a countdown. Deck of countdown to Christmas. And if you missed that haul, welcome to my channel. Hi. Thank you for coming, and I hope you stick around. And thank everybody in advance for hitting the like button. And thank you for watching. But if you uh, miss, my, miss that haul, every day you pull out a card on the, the day before Christmas. So this would be nine days. And the movie, and it suggests a movie, The Holiday. And it gives you trivia about the movie, and it's really cool. I, I said it would be a fun gift. It would be a fun thing to do with the family. It would be just, yeah, a fun family activity, a fun thing. I'm personally going to try to do it. I'm going to try to watch every movie every night that this deck of cards tells me to do. Let me fix my little viewfinder thing. I have a little circle around my lens so I can look right at it when I'm talking occasionally. It's hard to find. Okay, so they're on Amazon, so that's probably, and they are created by a genuine publisher, and that is probably why they are discontinued now on Timu, because they were ripped off from that publisher and that publisher filed a copyright complaint or whatever, but I will link to the link there's still eight dot like seven ninety eight eight dollars on Amazon is a good deal for each one of these boxes, so I will link to those. And it's not an affiliate link or anything like that. I just think those things are cool. Another thing I wanted to say one more time, I want to encourage you to subscribe to Hauler Time. If you're not, why not? Please. She's at about 400 and something subscribers, and I'd really love to see her get to a 1,000 subscribers. I find her hauls to be very relaxing. They bring my blood pressure way down, and my blood pressure is probably high these days. So anybody that brings my blood pressure down when they're hauling and has interesting items that I like to look at and also does long haul videos, meaning in the 30 minute to an hour range. I really love because then I can diamond paint or whatever while I'm listening to and kind of watching her hauls. I'm pointing this way because I usually have my um, either iPad or iPhone set up right here so I can watch hauls or listen to podcasts or do whatever while I'm diamond painting or whatever, cleaning, straightening things up. 
So I'm going to pin her channel one more time in my comments. Please, we've got how many people are watching this? I don't know, a, a few thousand. Could you please go over and just check her out? Give her a subscribe. Give her a like. Let's get to this team haul. I do have a little rant. I have a diamond painting rant. And it's coming up. And I almost did something old school for me, which is what got this channel into all kinds of drama back when this channel was a channel two years ago. I almost jumped online impulsively and ranted about this diamond painting issue that I have with a person. But I held myself in check, gave it a night, calmed down. But I still want to talk a little about diamond painting and a rant that I have, but we'll get to that and it'll be a nice friendly rant or whatever. You know, I don't, I'm not a mean person and I don't mean to single anyone out in comments either. So when I do mention a comment, please don't pile up on that person in comments because that's not my intention. If I mention some kind of a negative comment, it's either because it made me laugh or it was out of the ordinary or it was whatever, but I don't want everyone to go pile up on that comment and be like, you suck, what are you doing, blah. Just like the lady who asked me to stop asking my device what time it is because she's in a wheelchair and she shares a room with her daughter and all of this and everybody got angry and said, why can't she just put in earbuds? And that's a good point. And I do miss, and I'm sorry, so I'm about to ask my device something. So if you don't want your device to go off, please turn this down for a minute. And I'll hold up a finger when I'm done. Ready? Okay. Alexa, what time is it? It's 1.17 p.m. Alexa, what's the temperature in Kuwait right now? Right now, in Kuwait City, Kuwait, it's 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Alexa, what time is it in Kuwait right now? In Kuwait, it's 9.17 p.m. All right. Does anybody watch Foodie Beauty? If not, the Kuwait thing went over your heads, and that's fine. I'm not going to be like, if you know, you know, because I know some people don't know, but Foodie Beauty um, met a man online and quickly moved to Kuwait to be with him, and some of us are invested in her story. Okay, what is in here? Let's get to this haul. Oh my gosh, of course. All right, well, it is a Marc Jacobs ex um, expired, expired, a Marc Jacobs inspired bucket bag that says the bucket on it. And I did Google it and I did find the um, one that it is inspired by, and it's pretty close. Well, so the bucket, and it is your good old-fashioned ordinary bucket bag with, here's the shoulder strap that goes on, and it's got one, two, two slip pockets in it, and that's about it, but I love the inside. It's beautiful. The inside is like a beautiful... What is that? Burgundy, rose, dark rose, pink. I don't know, whatever it is. It's nice. And can you, so you can cinch it closed with the, the tie in the front. And nice, the bucket. So there you go. Oh, should I hold something up for a thumbnail? Well, maybe not an inspired by bag, huh? Get this out of the way. Oh, my lips, my gums, my teeth, they're all dry. The bucket, cheese, cheese, everybody, cheesy. Wait, how are my teeth? Hello. All right, I don't know. Thumbnails are a bitch. And I should do it alone off camera. I need to hydrate, you guys. Please, if you hydrate, let's hydrate together. I use this giant moonshine jug. It does only have water in it, though. Unfortunately, I just got this brand new one, which is a blue fade. I like it. I try to drink one whole thing of this every day. 
because why not? Okay, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket bag was 13, I paid $13.97 for it. Right now, it is $14.47 for it. Timu. All right, this is a shirt. And please, I'm hoping I can wear out. I'm hoping that it's a linen or it's a something, you guys. I don't know. Shirt. I like the color that I'm hoping I can wear over leggings. I got it uh, very long. I got it 2XL because I want to be able to just throw it on over black leggings and some little black flats and run to work. But it does not look long enough to cover my butt. So here it is. And yeah, it looks like it's going to get wrinkled as heck. And the back is nothing special. And it feels like the most interesting fabric I've ever felt. It feels like somebody took some burlap and sanded it way down. But I can still make it work. I'll wear it with black paint, black pants. If it doesn't work over black leggings and I'll wear a little tank top under it and unbutton these two things. What am I thinking that I can unbutton with these big fake nails on? Okay, how do those women with those long fake nails get stuff unbuttoned or do anything for that matter? Type or anything? I, you know, those women who have, um, what are they called? Just, um stilettos or claws but they're really long oh my god I can't you guys I, I always want to and I saw one woman the other day and she had these long nails they were about you know this long and not only that they had stuff glued all over them like hello kitty and all this stuff so they were like three-dimensional nails and I, she was just typing away at her cash register and everything. And I can barely even, like, I tried to text somebody today. And with these thumbs, I'm like, uh, 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 like trying to use the sides of my thumbs. It's impossible. Anyway, sorry. What did I pay for this? I'm getting off track. I feel chatty. Ten twenty nine for this lovely purple shirt. And it is still 1029. And no, you cannot choose colors. This is the only color it comes in. Is it purple or is it fuchsia? No, it's not fuchsia, but I don't know what color it is, you guys. I'm not Panatone or whatever. Pantone. Okay, where are my glasses? I'm having a hard time seeing. Here's another pair of glasses I got in my big box. Oh, glasses from Amazon. These are tortoise shells. Nice. They're not so Sally, Jesse, Raphael. I bought another one of, now if you've been a long time watcher of this channel, you know that I love these cheesy little, uh, they look like pretty much like Ziploc bags, except they have mesh sides and you can fit a lot of stuff in them. So here are the mesh sides that help them expand and They've got a little, you know, flower print on front, and they're basically just, you know, it's just a bag. It's just a bag. But for me, it's exciting, and I love them. And I try to, whenever I see them, I try to grab them. But it's touch and go. Sometimes they send you ones without the mesh sides, and then I feel sad and lonely in my heart and, you know, just dejected and depressed and all of that but it was 197 197 that's crazy oh I got a I got a price adjustment on it now it's 88 cents come on Timu what you guys today I put in a $200 Timu order I swear it, for, it was just for like six things five things and that's it for um until my next Paycheck. I invest a little bit of every paycheck into Timu, but I can't. Um... Okay, what is this? And that was it. That pretty much blew my Timu. That pretty much blew my Timu budget line 
that one order, but I think it'll be people will get a kick out of it, and it's something I've been curious to see for myself, so. All right, this is another, okay, here we go. I'm feeling angry already. This is One Piece Retro Music Record Black Area Rug, and it is foam again. Now, you guys remember when I bought that welcome mat for outside my house, and it was foam with, a with like, welcome mat type material printed on it, which was ridiculous. One of the things I've hated the most that I bought on Timu because it was such a ripoff. Well, this area rug is not a rug. It is, I paid $6.98 for it. It is foam. It is a cassette tape. And not only that, the printing is, wait a minute. Is it upside down? It's another foam mat. Why don't they just call it foam mat? You know what? You know what? It would go well. It would go with the Polaroid that I need to hang up in my bathroom. The Polaroid camera toilet holder. So maybe I'll just use this as a bath mat when the other one gets worn out. I have no idea. Or I don't know. The back is like this. But it is not a rug. They should just call it big piece of foam with a cassette tape printed on it. Now, what am I going to do with it? But, get rid of it. Angry at it. Mad at it. I'm mad on the internet at it. All right. I'm in a grumpy mood today, you guys. You know why I'm in a grumpy mood? Because this third party... Um. I don't even know what you call this kind of thing. You call it a third party evaluator is auditing my job right now at the moment and ask for a bunch of my files and a bunch of my whatever. I don't see him doing it to anyone else in the office. So as much as I would like to, where did I put, oh, I just dropped that on the ground. Where did I put my sign? I had it right here because I slept with my arms curled around it last night. Your anxiety is lying to you. As much as I would like to say your anxiety is lying to you, I really feel like my job is about to get eliminated. So let me spend some more money on Timu. Okay, next is a box. And what the heck would I have ordered that comes... Oh! This is more like it, I think. Although, I thought it would be bigger. I thought it would be bigger. It's a vase shaped like a bag. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, I was going to say it comes with one of it comes with two of these these hang now what now what I might do is now take so this little vase is made of paper and I think I'm going to take the gold chains off of this and put them on this blue Tiffany colored it's a it's a hard resin thing and I mean you could really use it as a vase I guess if you put something down inside of it it's it sold as a vase but I'm going to use it for artificial flowers and it is one piece handcrafted hemp rope tie vase for $6.49 but I got a price adjustment and now it is $8.48 okay well, I got it while the price was low, but you're supposed to also, you know, loop these things through here and tie it so these things hang down. But I think I'm going to put the gold chains on it and then put this up behind me because that's beautiful. Anywho, okay, I like it. It was worth the, where are my glasses again? Are they on my, no. It was worth whatever I said I, I paid for it. It was worth it because I like it. It's kind of my favorite thing in this haul so far. 
Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm putting, all I'm doing is putting the hemp rope in there so it doesn't get lost. And then let's take the trash, get it out of my life, put it in the trash bag right here. It sounded like it hit the floor, didn't it? It did. Next. Okay, these things, I'm not going to open it. Well, okay, I'll open it. If you insist, these are magnets that you stick on your car that the pain in the neck part about them is that they, I need to hold my hands up, sorry, or I need to tilt this down one or the other. I've got my alien pajama bottoms on. I've got my Malibu t-shirt Malibu on. I finally changed my earrings to these Chanel looking little flowers. Okay, can I open it with these nails? No, I cannot do anything with these nails. Okay. So it comes with these magnets that you stick on your car. Yeah, I'm the one with the hoop. Well, now my head is cut off. I'm the one with the hoopty that's all decked out at Christmas time with those annoying antlers, the Rudolph nose. And now on the back, I'm going to stick these magnets. So you have a bunch of these lights in different sizes. And I didn't, what, what's a pain in the neck is that you have to stick them on one it like separately to make them look like this goes across the back of your bumper kind of yeah not kind of i'll show you the picture of what it's supposed to look like i wish it came in just one long piece for pete's sake but i get that they have to give it to you and there are a bunch of these pieces and then a bunch of these different lights and si different sizes and colors and, you know, first of all, in the hood where I live, they're going to get stolen in like five minutes as magnets on the back of my car. And we'll give it a shot, but my money's on getting stolen. But they look like, I love how they put this on the back of a Porsche or something in this thing. So when you get them on your car, they look like this. And... That looks like it's going to be very time consuming to put those on. And if one falls off, I don't know. I, I'm still going to do it though. I'm going to do it. I'll take, well, I'll take a picture. I don't want people to see my hoopty. Okay, I paid $5.98 for those and now they're $6.39. What is going on with you, Timu? What is going on with the price? Price is rising. Timu's getting ready for the holidays. They know we're doing all this holiday shopping. And they are raising prices. That's my conspiracy theory. Someone told me a theory that makes sense to me. That they changed the bags from orange to white. Because the orange ones were so obvious in landfills. Now, that's interesting. Possibly true. And I was at the post office the other day. I was mailing a package to, um, well, I was mailing a package to Favorites of Laura. And if you don't subscribe to her channel, please do. She's got a great channel. I'll link her channel again. But yeah, we've struck up a friendship. And I sent her a package. And I went to the post office to mail it. And the... All I saw in the bin for, for packages to be delivered at the post office, just a sea of Timu bags. And I felt so relieved. I thought I was maybe the only one in town. Okay, I got another one of these. It's hard to see, so as usual, I'm going to show it to you on my phone. Bigfoot. Oh, no. Did I get the wrong color? Ugh. I don't know. I got the wrong color, maybe. Shoot, I might have to order it again in black. Bigfoot Research Team is what the sticker says. Well, let me get... And I already got one of these and put it on my car, but, but I didn't put it on correctly, and the B came off. 
And so I'm driving around with a thing on my the back, a decal on the back of my car that says Igfoot Research Team, and it's embarrassing. So I wanted another one, but I don't. I could have sworn I ordered it in. Get it one more time for Pete's sake. Black. I didn't order it in white. Maybe I did, and I suck. All right. I just one click paid that. I hate one click pay if you've already placed an order. All right, hydrate again. Yeah, I, I need hydration. Where's my hydration bottle? How could you lose a bottle that big? Is it right next to me somewhere? No. Just hold on a minute. Just hold on a minute. We just hydrated a sec. Oh, here it is. Sometimes I think. Sometimes I think things get just sucked into a black, like there's a vortex in my room. that just sucks things up. Okay, that Bigfoot Research Team decal for your car is $1.79 and now it is 99 cents. So grab it, grab it for 99 cents and you become part of the Bigfoot research team too. Did I order two? Oh dear. Why does it look like I ordered two? There's another little thing wrapped in styrofoam. Alexa, what time is it? It's 1.36 p.m. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, I ordered two? Oh no, why though? Come on, are you kidding me? It's this quantity too. I have got to stop doing that. All right, well, that'll go in my 7,000 subscriber giveaway box. Remember back when it was something like 4,000 giveaway box? Oh, look at my tripod up here, you guys. It's it wants to be part of the action. Lean back, lean back. I thought it seemed kind of bright. That tripod's leaning right into my face. Turn it so it's a little more flattering. All right. Well, I gotta stop doing that. What else is in here? What else? Some more eye primer. Because I'm too... Well, broke. I could buy it. I just, I don't feel like paying $30 for Urban Decay or whatever. So I figured I'd take some strange stuff from a cheap app in China and put it on my most precious organ, my eyes. Is an eye an organ? I don't know. Yeah. Here it is. It's sparkly. Is it tinted or is it just white? Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's swatch it. Okay, it's a little bit... Oh, makeup underneath my fingernail? That's disgusting. Yeah, I just hurriedly slapped some makeup on before this video. Okay, here. Long fingernails are just... All right, it's not very smooth. And it's... I don't know, you guys. Look, it's not rubbing in. Rub in. I don't know. It's It doesn't glide on. You know, sometimes it's worth spending the extra money for products that are tried, true, and, and popular for a reason. Not just a TikTok reason, but because they're good stuff. I like Urban Decay's anti-aging eye primer. Okay, the next thing in here is a pin. It says, that's so true that I just can't. I can't. It's so true and I'm going to stick it on my hat that I'm working on with pins. Like goofy old lady with pins all over her hat. Or I might put it on my mood bag. It's weird being the same age as old people. Hold this up for a thumbnail. Shoot, I haven't been taking any thumbnails. <sighs> it's weird being the same age 
as old people. This isn't a good thumbnail. What? Really? It is, though, because I don't feel old at all, and I know I don't act like it, and I work with, I share an office with two people in their 20s, and they kind of just tolerate me. It's lonely, but... I remember when I was their age, I thought people in their 50s were like old as hell, you know? So I try to remember how I perceived people in their 50s when I was in my 20s and it depresses the hell out of me because I'm fun. I'm not, I'm not old as hell. All right, the last thing I got is a diamond painting. So here we go. All right, the diamond painting I got was... Wow, it's tiny. Thank God. 20 by 30 size, and it is Alice in Wonderland. And I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, the primer was a dollar. I paid a dollar ninety-nine, no, ninety-eight for it, and now it is a dollar seventy-nine. But I'll try it and let you know how it works. This diamond painting is supposed to look like this when I'm done with it. Alice in Wonderland. Now I feel like playing video games. Oh, and it was $2.97 and now it is $2.77. And that was the end of that order, you guys. I'm pretty sure. Let me shake it around and make sure, but I'm pretty sure. Okay. Empty. Okay, let's talk about diamond painting for a minute. Someone left a very long and thoughtful comment on one of my videos, and I'm going to respectfully agree to disagree, but it made me very, when I read it, I felt very angry. Can you tell I talked to therapists? Nothing can make you feel anything. It's how you react to things. When I read it, I felt angry. This comment. Even though it was a well-meaning comment. And the person essentially, the person even said, I don't want to be that person. But, and then she essentially said, you're doing it wrong. Okay, and then she proceeded to tell me how I was doing my diamond painting wrong. And now I'm supposed to do one section at a time, then cover it up, move on to the next section, cover it up, move on to the next section, cover it up, which protects it and keeps dust and hair and all this other stuff from getting in your diamond painting and keeps it sticky. Okay, valid point. But my, what I'd like to say to you is never, ever, 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 Tell anybody who's embarking on some kind of, of creative endeavor that they're doing it wrong. Because really, okay, if you want to call it this, and this is a stretch because it's putting little dots on little letters. I mean, come on. But art, don't say you're doing it wrong. You can't do it wrong. Get messy, make mistakes, do whatever you want. Now, here's what I have to say in response. No, if I want to do my diamond painting, someone asked me what size this light board is. It's an A3. That's all I know is size is A3. If I want to do my diamond paint, if I'm missing my cat terribly and I want to get the cat done first because it's part of my grieving process and I miss my cat, so I want to do the cat first. And then, because I love roses, I want to do the roses to see what they'll look like. I will do them in any order I want. I'm not going to do like this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner, this, but in this, and this, and this. That's a real orderly, great organized. Because then she suggested that I watch some Diamond Painting 101 tutorials. Okay, you know what? The reason why I do these diamond paintings is so I can take my mind off my miserable life for five minutes. My mom is dying downstairs. And I just want something to take my mind off everything. So, 
if I want to just do, if I want to do it completely backwards and take the, the list of colors and flip them upside down and do the whole painting in the opposite colors that it should be, I'll do it that way. If I want to get one letter knocked out at a time, which is how I like to do it, I like to start with one letter, do that letter, just I don't care where it is, fill up the whole thing, get that color, I'm sorry, that color out of my life and then move on to another color. I will. I always keep this thing and put it down on top of it when I'm done and, and all of that. But you know what? Let people diamond paint the way, the way they want to diamond paint. Don't ever be like, you're doing it wrong. Forget it. I'm doing it the way I like to do it. And it's a hobby and it's supposed to be fun. And the reason why young budding artists don't grow up to become artists or young budding writers don't grow up to be great artists, great writers. It's because somebody came along when they were trying to put some art together, trying to write some creative thing and said, you're doing it wrong and it discouraged them and they stopped. Like, don't tell anybody doing anything creative that they're doing it wrong. You can't do creative things wrong. Now, if I'm operating, if it's brain surgery, yeah, if I'm performing brain surgery on someone, please tell me that I'm doing it wrong. But if I'm just showing you a stupid diamond painting that's most likely, and you're going to hate this, get thrown away when I'm done with it. Because what I don't need in my life is a big stack of diamond paintings that I'm not going to do anything with. Is You know, if I'm just doing a diamond painting for the hell of it, and then I'm probably going to throw it away, ultimately... One of these days, it's going to be in the condo, Mari, Marie Kondo. Well, this has been slanted the whole time. Doesn't bring me a spark of joy pile and get chucked. So it's just a diamond painting. Oh my gosh. See, it just made me nuts when I read that comment last night. I don't. And I'm not ranting because I want butt pats in the comments or you're right, you go. You know, I don't want any, you know what, if this rant just, if you want to say anything about this rant that I just lost my ish on and ranted about, just go ahead and say cool rant, brah, or whatever. Don't validate or whatever. I don't want validation. I just wanted to rant for a minute about how it's just diamond painting and I don't take it that seriously. And if I want to get on t this video and be like, look at the progress I've made with my diamond painting. And then to have somebody go, but you're doing it wrong. Just stop it. Just stop. I'm having fun. It's, it's fine. It's something to do. It's something that I kind of enjoy. I don't take it that seriously. Even though I've got like now $100 worth of diamond painting crap. And I keep buying them and who knows, you know, blah. All right, I'm done. I've said enough, right? When I was in college, okay, so I used to be a long distance runner and I loved it. And I loved to run. I loved to just put music in my ear and just run and run and run and zone out and run. And it was my favorite thing to do. So then when I got to college... And I would go late at night back in the days when it was safe to do this kind of thing. And I would go to our high school track and I would just run around it and run around it and run miles around it for, for the fun of it. And that was how I would blow off steam as like a teenager. And then when I got to college, I would run around that track. And then we had to take some PE electives to graduate and so I took long distance running and the first day of class, the coach said to me when I, when it was my turn to run, well, we were all running and he was like clocking us and taking notes and stuff. He was laughing every time I ran by. And then finally, when I came around the track for like the whatever time, he said, you have the most bizarre running style I have ever seen. And I cannot stop laughing at it. No, I wasn't running like this. Or anything. I mean, I was just running. So I don't know what was going on with my running style that like he was making him laugh. It wasn't like Elaine Bennis like trying to dance and stuff. I, I, it's not like I was running like in a weird way or waving my hands in the air or all of this stuff. But 
that's all. And I was so embarrassed and so ashamed that I stopped running after that. And what I wish, and that's on me for not being, what I should have said to him is, well, could you show me how to improve my running style? But I was only like, what, how old are you in college? 19, 18? I don't know. It was my freshman year. So I was only like a kid. But now I would have said, well, how could I improve it? Or I would have just said, F off. But back then, I was so humiliated and ashamed and then self-conscious about running that I stopped running and I never, ever ran again. And um, which is on me for just being, you know, that's on me, really. But that was a jerky thing. He's a coach for Pete's sake. He could have taken a gentler approach and said, you know, here are some ways that you might, I don't know. But that just reminded me, that was another thing, that something I love to do, that somebody came along and said, you're doing it wrong, and just kind of ruined it. And so last night, I sat down to diamond paint, and I was in such a grumpy mood about that comment that, like, I didn't even want to do it anymore. So I, don't, I might be done with diamond painting. Don't tell me not to be done with it, but it's just a goofy thing. It's one of those fly-by hobbies. I'm going to do it for a little while and then move on to the next thing that fascinates me. That was my diamond painting rant. All right, sorry about that. And if you're the one who left that comment, I realize you're probably going to unsubscribe now, and I'm sorry that you set off a rant, but never tell somebody who's doing something creative or just any kind of hobby that they're doing it wrong if it's something that brings them joy and they're perfectly happy with the way they're doing it. Because, I mean, we don't, there are no Ten Commandments of Diamond Painting, or if you take Diamond Painting that seriously and I just insulted you, I'm, I'm sorry too, but for me, I just do it for my own reasons. I don't, I'm not trying to get my diamond paintings into like MoMA or anything. All right, I'm tired. That was a lot. I might cut that whole part out or I might leave it in. I have a little spice in this channel once in a while. Stop being so nice all the time. I'm just kidding. I, I appreciate and love all of you guys who watch, like, and subscribe. I'm sorry that that was like a 10-minute diamond painting rant. But, uh, and the haul, the thing I hated the most is that stupid cassette tape rug and I loved the vase the most and I can't believe I ordered two of these stupid Bigfoot research team stickers they're not stupid it's a cool sticker for the back of your car but I ordered two of them which was dumb could this be a thumbnail cheese on the mood for it all right bye everybody um have a great morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're watching this. And I hope the rest of your weekend is good. Thank you for tolerating me. Bye, everybody. How do I stop this thing? Where's the damn button?